Welcome to Home Free Family. This week we made a floating shelf for our office. I'm Sarah and this is Travis. We've moved seven times in the last six years and are currently renovating our third house with our three boys and our old English sheepdog. Follow along as we renovate our house and raise our boys. That's him. Subscribe and join us on our next adventure. So how are you going to finish cutting it? Now I'm going to have to cut it by hand. That's the way, that's as high as the, my blade would go. Mm. Will it be easier to cut since you cut both sides like that? Yeah, easier to keep straight. <laughs> you like it, Max? Yeah. I think it looks nice. I think I want to do just like a fine sand to get off. Like yeah, that. I will. I will sand everything. So we got this beam from a local lumber shop. It was a 16 foot piece of cedar, and it was 80 bucks. Our first step was to cut it down to the size we wanted. Then I did a light sanding, and here I'm routering the backside to make room for my brackets to make this a floating shelf. Okay, Link, we are going to be mounting that shelf right there. And I notched with my router for enough for the bracket to go inside of there so it'll sit flush against the wall. And we'll drill holes for this to go in. So we'll have a couple of these brackets that'll poke through and hold the beam and make it look what you got? like it's floating. Mm -hmm. My worry is that this is so like worm eaten or whatever is going on here that when we drill a hole, this won't have enough strength. But we got lots of brackets. So we, we'll probably be okay. We're going to need that drill to screw in the screws, a drill to drill the holes, a stud finder, a pencil, a tape measure. Remember, we're going to also need electrical tape. Oh, what's electrical tape? What do you need electrical tape for? Just have to wait and see. Let the suspense build. So first, let's find our studs. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. That's not studs. Oh, I'm a stud. Like, how high should we put this? I think that's great. Not too high. Perfect. Probably. How do you guys like it? Pretty good, but like, I don't even. Yeah. Scared you, Link? <laughs> Scared Max, too. <laughs> it was just really heavy, so I was using so all my strength light. muscles. Let's get a straight line going here. For some reason, my skin hurts. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. The next thing we need to do, guys, our board is 65 inches. We need to center it in the wall. Okay, now we need to find some studs. Lincoln, step on up here. You can help me. So you can push the button and you move it across. Ooh, there's one. Now hop down and Sawyer's turn. Tell the camera what you're saying. We're doing. We you go going. You you do. Please. You put going down. Please. And oh, you. I I get out. 
Which yours? Which that tree? No, that Thomas. We are good. We're not doing that, Thomas. Here's the problem. You have to keep this perfectly straight up and down and perfectly 90 degrees this way too. If you get it a little bit too I'm not trolling. That's not how you ask. Can I have trolling? Sure. We need the brackets to be square with this line. So I'm straightening the brackets? Sure. In fact, let's just say we want the line to be on the top of the bracket. Once I hold this in position, then I need you to position the bracket and mark all four holes. This doesn't sound very doable to me. No, because this is going to push in as soon as you put pressure on it. That one's the loosest one out of the bunch. Well, should we just try it? Eleven. Hold on. Okay, that's it right there. Why don't you just mark it while I have yeah, it? Yeah, now, now that we have these supports, now I can mark it. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.